Hey Popcorn Kid Crew, guess what today is? It's Taco Tuesday and we have another fun story to share with you. Today's story is called The Frog Prince. Have you heard of this story before? Well, as always, we're going to begin by saying, I am the greatest. There you go, you are the greatest. Miss V says so, and everyone who loves you says so. You ready to get started? Come on, let's jump right into our story on Taco Tuesday. Here we go. The Frog Prince. There was once a princess with a smile more dazzling than the sun. She lived with her father, the king, in a palace surrounded by thick woods. When the weather was very hot, the princess would walk into the shade of the forest and sit by a pond. There would she would take out her favorite toy, a golden ball that her father had given her. Over and over, she would throw it upon in the air and catch it again. One day, the ball slipped from her hand and fell into the pond with a splash. The pond was so deep that she couldn't see the bottom. My beautiful golden ball, sobbed the princess. She cried as if her heart would break. Her tears dripped, dropping into the water. The princess thought her favorite toy was lost forever. An ugly speckled frog popped his head out of the water, guys. Why are you crying? he asked. I have dropped my precious golden ball into the water, she cried. What will you give me if I fetch it back for you, asked the frog. You may have my jewels and my pearls, even the crown on my head, sobbed the unhappy princess. I don't need any of those things, said the frog. If you promise to care for me and be my friend, let me share food from your plate and sleep on your pillow. Then I will bring back your golden ball. I promise, said the princess, but she really didn't mean it. As the frog swam down into the murky water, she thought, he's only a silly old frog. I won't have to do any of those things. When the frog swam back up with the ball, she snatched it from him and ran all the way back to the palace. Oh, the little princess got her golden ball and snatched it. What well, did she keep her promise, you guys? Let's keep reading. That evening, the princess was having dinner with her family when there was a knock at the door. Princess, let me in, called a croaky voice. When the princess opened the door, she was horrified to find the speckled frog sitting in a puddle of water. She slammed the door and hurried back to the table. Why do you look so frightened, asked the king. Was it a witch? No, father, it was a frog, replied the princess. What does a frog want with you? Asked the puzzle king. The princess told her father all about losing the ball at the pond and the promise she had made to the frog. Princesses always keep their promises, my dear, insisted the king. Let the frog in and make him welcome. The princess did as she was told. As soon as the frog hopped through the door, he asked to be lifted up onto the princess's plate so that he could share her food. When the frog saw the look of disgust on the princess's face, he sang, Princess, princess, fair and sweet, you made a special vow to be my friend and share your food, so don't forget it now. I'm sure it didn't sound like that. I'm 
you trying, guys? Are you laughing? The king was annoyed to see his daughter acting so rudely. The frog helped you when you were in trouble, he said. You made him a promise, and now you must keep it. Very good. Good job, Daddy. The princess had no choice. She lifted the damp frog onto her plate and watched as he nibbled at her food. For the rest of the day, the frog followed the princess everywhere she went. She hoped that he would go back to his pond when it was time for bed, but he did not. The king said that his daughter had to keep her promise. And that's good. She does have to keep her promise. When darkness fell, the frog yawned and stretched. I am tired, he said. Take me to your room and let me sleep on your silken pillow. The princess was horrified. No, I won't, she said. Go back to your pond, you slimy creature, and leave me alone. The patient frog sang. Don't laugh, I'm gonna sing the song, y'all. Don't laugh. Princess, princess, fair and sweet, you made a special vow to be my friend and share your food, so don't forget it now. The princess had no choice but to take him to her room. She couldn't bear the thought of sleeping next to him, though. So instead of placing him on her pillow, she put him in a corner of the floor. Then she climbed into her bed, laid her head down on the silken pillow, and went to sleep. After a while, the frog jumped up onto the bed. It's drafty on the floor. Let me sleep on your pillow as you promised, he said. The sleepy princess felt more annoyed than ever. She picked up the frog, hurled him across the room where he landed with a smack on the floor. The frog lay there dazed and helpless. The princess shook herself properly awake and saw the frog lying still. She was suddenly filled with pity. She couldn't bear the thought that she might have hurt the poor little thing. Oh, you poor darling, she cried. And she picked him up and she kissed him. The frog transformed into a handsome young prince. Sweet princess, he cried. I was bewitched and your tender kiss has broken the curse. The prince and the princess fell in love and they were married. They often walked in the shady forest together and sat by the pond, tossing the golden ball back and forth and smiling at how they first met. The end. Wow, isn't it something how she met the frog at the pond because she was playing with the ball? And it ended up that a curse was on the frog. But her dad made her keep her promise. And then her feelings got hurt because she threw the frog across the room and thought she heard him. And a new story started after she gave the frog a kiss. Wow, you guys. This is a wonderful story. Well, I'm going to share a kiss with the Popcorn Kit crew. And I'm going to share... Peace and love. Until next time, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this story.